Good news everyone, Tileson can now handle collections of images, which means I can display the tile map that I had created and we are in business. Well, at least my version of Tileson can, I have not yet contributed the code back. Either way, we can get moving. But first, before we get into today's coding, a performance warning. Okay, so this is the, the code that draws a tile layer. And for every tile, it will get the path to the image or the image file name and look it up in an unordered map, which means calculating a hash for the string and then looking the hash up in the map, which works, but it is hideously inefficient compared to simply having a pointer to the right image or texture in the first place. Uh, we are completely relying on compu modern computers being very, very fast, so you can get away with doing this thousands of times a frame. So more than good enough for this 2D challenge, but I wouldn't consider it production code. And if you were to use this, you may, if you get very ambitious with very big uh, maps, you may end up uh, needing to do some performance optimizations. There are two things to take care of today. The first is we want a camera to be able to follow Scarfy when he's moving around. And because you can see he goes off the screen. And you may notice if you compare what's in game with what's in tiled, the background's missing. And that's because parallax scrolling has not been implemented. Parallax uh, scrolling is what enables the background to move slowly. It's like a, a pseudo 3D effect. If you look sideways out of a car, you, you'll see things close by whizzing by and things off in the distance moving slowly. So we need to bring those calculations into the game. And to do that, we should first check the documentation. So there's a parallax scrolling factor, and they also have a parallax origin and then the, the there's a, a multiplication that needs to be done and i think they yeah they have a comment about the camera because if the camera moves to the right then you want the background to move to the left not to the right <clears throat> basically this is how you make sure that the parallax moves in the right direction uh, so that makes enough sense let's move over to the code and you'll see i've already put a handle parallax effect comment in here, so this is where it needs to go. First, we need to be able to extract that information from the layer. So we, well, I've already done it for you, the, the parallax, search for parallax. The layer has a get parallax function that will get you the scale factor, the scroll factor, sorry, not the scale factor. So let's bring that in, the factor layer get parallax and then we can get the parallax origin from i think layer should have a get map and then can call get parallax origin it would be more elegant if you could get that directly from the layer but anyway the the information is there <clears throat> And from here, it's a matter of implementing the calculations. Um, what I want to do is I want to create a copy of this offset here, a, lo a local copy of this offset, and adjust it by the, uh, the parallax scale factor. So let's do that. Oh, let's change that to correct that. I might pause this for a moment uh, because this could be boring to watch. Done. So... We pull in, first we pull in the factors from TSON, Tileson, convert them to Raylib vector format so that we can do a, a proper arithmetic on it. And then play a little bit of a game here with the camera. We need, we need to basically figure out where is the camera relative to the parallax origin. And at that point we can apply the scale factor as documented here. So let's have a look at what that looks like. And, oh, well, that's better. But you can see the, these edges. These edges are not supposed to be here. They are here because we have not implemented tiling of image maps. So what, what we need to do is we need to take, take this image here and copy it. 
sideways. So you've got the same thing tile repeated over and over and over. So time to add that now. And this is where I think it gets more complicated. I've already taken a quick look at tiling and I'm not liking Raylib's tiled functions. So I'm going to pause the video again here and we'll be back once I've figured out how to do this. Here's the offending code. We've got a simple draw where we need to check whether the image layer is tiled or not and in which direction. So let's find repeat, I think is what it's called. Repeat. And tileson we get on the layer we have has repeat, has repeat x, has repeat y. So we can pull those in. Right, here's the, the new code. So if there's no repeat, then we just use the old draw method. Otherwise, we have to figure out what the texture dimensions are. The source rectangle is simply the entire texture because it's a, a full image layer. And then the destination region depends on which, whether we are horizontally or vertically tiling or both. So with that all done, we should build it first. And then There you go. So it's now looking a lot better. It looks like I'm still not getting the layers in the right place. Uh, there's a little bit of a, a gap at the bottom where you can see the, the bottom of the, <laughs> the background layers are not going all the way to the bottom of the screen. So it looks like, so there's some tweaking still needing to, that need to be done. But overall, I think it's looking quite good. I think we can move on to after some trial and error, I finally have all the layers in the right place. If you look at the, the in-game screen and you compare it with tiled, you see they look, everything looks like they're roughly in the same place. Now there were two errors that I needed to fix. First was the tiling code or the, the code to draw the, the image layers repeated, i.e. tiled, didn't get the offsets right. So things were hor horizontally in the wrong place. Uh, vertically though, I was not correctly taking into account, where is the code? Here it is. I was not correctly taking into account the layer offsets and the parallax calculations. If you look at the, the tiled documentation, the parallax calculations need to be relative to the center of the screen, not the corner. So once I had added the offsets to the center of the, the screen, then vertically everything was in the right place. That's all take it up my time. So I think I better leave it here for today. And I will start on the, the camera, the tracking camera to, to follow Scarfy. I'll do that next time. So hope this was fun and helpful and I will see you next time.